And dear friends, brothers and sisters, God has something special for you. He is working on your prayers. You know what? Something good is about to happen because He has amazing and better plans for your life. God loves you very much. And remember that. Friends, keep me in your prayers. Good day, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters. Today is November 11, 2020. And today is Wednesday of the 32nd week in Ordinary Time. And our gospel for today is from the account of Luke chapter 11, I mean chapter 17, verses 11 to 19. Our gospel for today narrates about the story of Jesus healing the ten lepers. Friends, you know what? Connecting our lives to the gospel today, I feel like we are like the ten lepers in the story. In a sense, like the ten lepers, we are crying out in the distance because of COVID-19. We are crying out in the distance because of our infirmities. We are like the lepers begging the Lord for healing, begging the Lord to let this pandemic end. And it's, it is good to ask ourselves today, what is the infirmity, quote-unquote, in my life? What is my leprosy that makes me an outcast? What makes you distance from God, my dear friends? Today, like the ten lepers, cry and approach the Lord to heal us. Do not be afraid to shout. Keep shouting. Pray and don't worry as Father Pio once said. Second, like the lepers, you know what? If we listen to Jesus, miracles are possible. When we listen to Jesus, we will experience healing. When we listen to Jesus, something good is about to happen. When we listen to Jesus, amazing things are going to happen to us. Today, the Lord is telling me and you, go show yourselves to the priests. It means we need others to cure our infirmities. Friends, today, approach Jesus and ask Him to heal us. Let me tell you, miracles are possible if we pray. And finally, the gospel tells us a very sad truth and reality about life. Why? What's that reality? You know, don't be shocked. But this is what the gospel is telling us. Out of 10 people, only one is grateful. Can you imagine? Out of 10, only one will say thank you. Out of 10, only one will remember to return the favors. Friends, when we receive what we have asked for, return to the Lord and give thanks. Remember the Lord not only in times of need, but also in good times, in happy times. When it is better or it is bitter, don't forget the Lord. When God takes away our worries, when God takes away our problems, be grateful to Him. Cure does not end in healing, but in being grateful. Because I believe gratitude is the best attitude. Friends, always remember the Lord because He never forgets us. Today, count your blessings and then thank the Lord. Let me end by this simple, simple suggestions. Today, be grateful to someone. Today, send a text to your friend. Say thank you. Say thank you to your family. Say thank you to the people around you. Say thank you to the boss, your boss. Say thank you to your friends. Today, let our prayers be full of thank yous. Lord, I am so grateful. Maraming salamat po. Merci vuko. Dagang salamat. Thank you, Lord. Amen.